Today's story is an incredible tale of how anything is possible if you take positive action, if you're prepared to find an outlet through action. And we're gonna tell you the story of a 21 year old called Nicholas Alchemy. Now let's not blast past that fact. He was just 21 years old. Do you know someone who is 21? I know that my right hand man, Chaz, is 20, soon to be 21 years old, and that puts it into perspective for me. And this is a tale of a young man faced by a huge challenge. So he was the rear gunner of a Lancaster bomber. Now to put it in perspective, there wasn't a more dangerous place to be in that aircraft than the rear gunner. Essentially, the enemy aircraft would shoot you, shoot that part of the plane, and once you were out of action, they could shoot the plane down. So only volunteers became rear gunners. So let's just look at the challenge that was faced by Nicholas and Alchemy. He was flying at night. He was flying in the most dangerous part of the Lancaster. He was flying not only over enemy territory, but over Berlin in Germany and it was at night. This was serious stuff. This is one night in 1944. After the bombing raid where the Lancaster, I think there were 300 Lancasters flying over Berlin dropping their bombs. On the way back on the return leg, out of the darkness, their Lancaster was attacked by a German night fire. And before long, the whole aircraft was ablaze. It was on fire and the order came through to bail out. You have to get out as quickly as possible. So Nicholas Alchemy did the only thing he could do, which was reach for his parachute. Now he was the rear gunner, so he had to wind his turret around and reach into the aircraft to get, grab his parachute. And he was confronted by a wall of flames. The aircraft was on fire, his parachute was on fire. And he was left in this unbelievable predicament of thinking, what do I do? What do I do in this situation? Do I go down with the aircraft? Or do I jump without a parachute? I mean, can you imagine being put in that situation? Now, before long, Nicholas Alchemy realized that there's only one thing for me to do here, and that's to jump. He made that positive action in an instant. I'm gonna jump. And with that, with that second thought, he wound his turret round, bowed out backwards, and flew into the darkness of that night on his own without a parachute. Now, he fell from 18,000 feet falling at 120 miles per hour without a parachute. Now that is 18,000 feet is the equivalent of 56 big bends. Like unbelievable stuff. Can you imagine what was going through his mind? What would you be thinking? What would you be thinking falling through the air without a parachute? Nicholas Alcamade was considering himself, was considering his family, but he had made that strong decision, a decision that was right for him. That he fell and fell and fell and he survived. Incredibly, Nicholas Alchemy fell in one of the few places that could have saved his life. He fell through a load of trees, through a load of branches, which broke his fall and ended up in a snowdrift. And he was alive. He held the record for the highest ever free fall without a parachute, 18,000 feet. And incredibly, he was barely even injured. He had a sprained ankle, this 21 year old young man sat there in Germany in complete disbelief. Now he was soon captured and made a prisoner of war. And when he told his story to the Germans, they did not believe him. That is until they found the wreckage of his aircraft, found the tattered remains of his burnt out parachute. And they believed the story that Nicholas was telling them. They even wrote him a letter to prove it. So, I mean, how incredible is that? A 21 year old young man who made, took this positive, incredibly strong decision to act and prove that anything is possible. Sometimes we don't know what the future holds. Nicholas Alchemy definitely didn't know what the future holds, but he was like, okay, I know what I've got to do. I'm connecting to that feeling inside. I'm gonna take positive action. And the way it panned out was beyond his wildest dreams. Now I feel that's really relevant and really pertinent to us because sometimes we can feel between a rock and a hard place. We don't know what to do and we don't know where to turn. But by following Nicholas Alchemy's example, perhaps sometimes this strong, positive decision can take you anywhere you want to go. Anything is possible. And that's what we take from the story of Nicholas Alchemy.